everyone, welcome to another video with me, Laura. Today, not a crochet tutorial today, I am reviewing a lab. Now don't click away, I know that sounds really boring, but as you know on Happy Bear, we only review things or share things with you which we think, or which I think, are amazing or really good. I get so many companies contacting me to review things like nail polish and leggings and all sorts of random rubbish. I always say no, so this is a very unique lamp. This lamp is pretty cool and I I do highly recommend it. I The reason I want to do this video also is because two years ago I reviewed one of their older lamps and this lamp is from Beng Q. Beng, Beng Q lamp, Beng lamp. <laughs> it's really good for crochet and sewing and reading and all sorts of um, things that require really good light. So two years ago they sent me one of their older lamps and you can watch that video here. I'll put a link in the description below if you're interested in the older version. It was when I was first moving to Hungary so it was all very in a strange environment and I got this lamp and I was like oh my gosh. Um, but it's been used so much so it's kind of like uh, this video is kind of not just reviewing their new edition which is here but also talking about the old lamp and I've used it now for two years in different environments and different settings so it's a really good way of actually talking about how brilliant this lamp has been and also the annoying parts of the lamp as well. It's been used on the kitchen table, it's been used in my daughter's bedroom so it's had kids around it, it's been used mainly in my husband's workshop so he paints uh, tiny little warhammer models and creates terrain and things so he requires a lot of um, very special light and be able to see the details probably even more so than crocheting. If you do have poor eyesight and need a really good lamp. And this lamp is not just amazing for crochet, but really, really detailed work. Okay, so let's talk about some of the same features that the new lamp has compared to the old lamp. And one of the amazing things about this lamp is the on-off switch. So literally just from a touch of a button, it switches on and off. And this is probably one of the negatives as well as the positives. So no more hunting around like behind the sofa trying to find the switch to switch it on. It literally is just put your arm up and just switch it on and off. So I don't know if you can see that. But also when you're just leaning over the lamp, it'll just turn on. And one of the weirdest things is when we, um, see my husband said not to mention this in the video because he's not quite sure if this actually happened, but I think it's worth mentioning. That when we went on holiday one time, this lamp was just left on the kitchen table, plugged into the uh, to the mains. And when we came back, the lamp was on and there was a fly in the house. So I think even if a fly lands on it, it'll just switch on and off. But it's so easy to switch on. That's definitely one of the positives as well. But it has two light settings. So it's got this more like daylight blue light. And this is a great light for keeping you, uh, help you to concentrate, keep you awake, see the finer details but if you want to go for a more um if you just a click of this little button here a little gentle click you can change it to a more heek cozy warm light like that so I'm not sure how much you can see that um during the day in this video but it creates a much more cozy warm light this is my favorite light and also you can mix it to somewhere in between the two as well i'll put it back to the strong blue light. So that's just a click of the button, then you click it again, you can just um, set the how bright it is, so you can have a, a more dimmed, and then obviously turning it all the way up to a really bright light. So that's the same features as the old lamp. And as you can see here, it's also it can be a desk lamp, or this one's been uh, added to the stand, it can come with a stand, and you can turn it into a proper floor standing lamp as well which this one currently is because this normally sits in uh, the living room behind me uh, in replace of an old IKEA lamp so you can see a cutting image of that that setup we've been testing it I think it's going to stay in that position now permanently but the additions uh, the new additions what makes this lamp better than the old lamp are probably well they talk about some of the technical things it has a more wider light 150 percent more wider light so it lights up more space um, it goes above I'm trying to remember the technical stuff now it goes above the recommended light limit so it's very very bright uh, it can be if you want it to be um, but the things which are really useful for me is one of the, the older lamp is very straight arm um, whereas this has an extra elbow as it were so it has more flexibility, you can really move this around and twist it up and down, which I won't do now because it will go out of shot and my cameraman will complain. But um, 
One of the things I love about this lamp, which is also the same as the old lamp, is the wire just connects into the arm, so you haven't got wires trailing everywhere as well. But this lamp in particular is probably new and best feature is the two automatic ambient settings. So it will just automatically put the light at the perfect temperature, the perfect light level for your environment. It's got the two settings. It's got the uh, book reading setting. So when you keep your finger on this on button for a couple of seconds, when it goes red, that's the optimal reading book setting and this book here which will be coming in another review video soon and again when it goes green so you hold it for two seconds again goes re green and then that's the optimal lighting level for screen work so if you're working on a phone or a tablet or a computer then that's supposed to be the optimal light level based on your settings for screen work so that's one of the things i really really love i prefer it on the the book level for crocheting and embroidery and things like that so but also I just I really like as soon as you click the button you go into your own mode and you can go back to the nice cozy warm setting which is what I like <laughs> so um, yeah do check it out if you are looking for a really good lamp um, you do have poor eyesight then do check it out it is a little bit expensive I will say it's not cheap but it's definitely worth the investment and I think all in all considering the amount of cheap IKEA lamps I've got for over the years I would definitely invest in one of these but anyway you check it out i'll put the links in the description below and uh, join me in my next video where i'm actually reviewing a crochet book so uh, hopefully you will join me for that because i don't often review crochet books and i've actually been making some of the things from the crochet book as well so that's a first for me but thanks for watching if you got this far and i will see you soon for some more crochet crafting reviewing fun <laughs> thanks for watching guys bye Okay, so now the video's ended, I can show you. See, look, it's very flexible light. Just literally just can go wherever you want. It's brilliant, I love it. It's <laughs> so bendy. And it feels really, really strong as well, really strong quality. It was a bit wobbly on this stand, but I think that's more my floor than the actual lamp, so, um, so there you go. So now the video's ended, I can, I can show you how bendy it is. <laughs> this lamp's so cool.